You want to say something to the vlog? Go ahead. Good job. Good job. everybody welcome back to another video i'd like to take a couple seconds to thank you guys for tapping in i hope you guys truly appreciate the content i'm gonna keep banging it out for you guys little by little i know it's been a while since i've been posting but something's better than nothing i like to tell you guys that i truly do appreciate this project because the crx was really something that was sentimental to me um when i did you know decide on junking it i was really really hurt yo what's up guys Today's honestly a very sad day for me to keep it real. It's like very heartbreaking, but it's just, it has to happen, guys. No more CRX. The CRX is going to the junkyard tomorrow. I was really, really hurt. I'm not even gonna lie, because this was my first car. Um, this is what I put a lot of my money into when I had my first job and it took me a long time to even get the car to where it's at. I had originally bought the car from my brother and I was young and dumb. Let's just say that, you know, I had no general knowledge of this and when I stepped into it is everything changed, you know, I thought it was going to be something that was super easy, but hell no. This car right here has taken an arm, a leg, shit, maybe a couple of them. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna lie. When I tell you guys I invested a lot into this, it's not only time, it's been a lot of money. Um, you know, a lot of emotion too. I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs with this car. There's been times where I just wanted to sell it. I wanted to part it out. And when I had to junk it because I got another project back there, it, it really, it hurt me. I was devastated, I'm not gonna lie. Like, so yeah. Let me just, let me give you a rundown. I had to do the whole fuel system all over again. I'm talking about lines because they were corroded, injectors, fuel pump, fuel cell, um, electrical work. The whole wiring harness that I had originally on the car was shot out. Like, I didn't know what I was thinking when I bought the car. This shit was just completely done. Uh, the car would have never started with the work that was done. Uh, brakes. I had no brakes whatsoever. Uh, I had to get rotors and pads from the homeboy Charlie. Thankfully, he came through. That's the Riley days right there. I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I got the you know little commercial account with the Rileys. Got to put it down for the team. Downside Racing, you know, he be coming through. Um, but yes, so I did the brakes. I got a full Chase base kit. Uh, I ended up by myself some disc brakes as well. I busted a mean mission. This is before I lived out here in Riverside. I busted a mission all the way to Hesperia and I picked up some rear disc brakes and I had to get the rear trailing arms. I got brand new bushings all around the little car, LCAs. Uh, there's just, there's been a lot. And I understand that everybody who usually races does this and you know, it doesn't make me any different cause I have to do it. But you know, I, I pulled out of my pocket, you know, I ain't sponsored. I don't make these, you know, videos to make money. I do this shit because I love to do it. I do it because I've always loved documenting and filming. This is something I get to look back on, reflect over the years, see what I've learned, seeing how much I've grown, seeing the memories that I've created with, you know, amazing friends, you know, my family. Let me tell you, this is something that I do because I truly love to do it, not because I'm out here to make money.
the ball, the ball. No, 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 no. You're a fucking trooper. Okay. I told you to move that shit a long time ago, dog. Man, I love this boat. All right, so check it out. Lexington's cut. We just gotta make sure we clean up the edges. you can see it with the Lexan behind it but in order to get this shape here I got this paper came off of this row and I cut a long sheet out I laid it against the window and I ended up getting tape you know mocked it up the whole thing and I got the end of the scissors when I got the scissors I just grazed it along the paper and the lining of the car and that gave me the shape of the window so i ended up cutting out the paper laid it onto the lexan sheet that i had laying around the house and yeah i cut it out keep in mind this was slightly bigger due to me edging the outside of the window when you use the angle grinder the angle grinder will take off extra so keep that in mind, it's gonna take off extra. So the desired shape that you got off the paper is gonna be slightly different from the Lexan. The Lexan also does tend to melt, not too much. It depends how you use the angle grinder. I've had several, you know, like experience with the angle grinder. So it works pretty easy, but you're gonna get a little bit of like slag here on top. I say slag because it's melted plastic. You just make it the angle grinder, Grind it against the edges, you know, clean it off. It'll be clean, nice and fresh. So yeah, that's how I got the quarter panel windows. And what is great about this, this template here that you made for the driver's side or the passenger side is also, you know, interchangeable with the opposite side. All right, so right now I got the quarter panel Lexan template made. I still need to rivet it in, but this is how it looks. I gotta say, for me doing it on my own, I'm impressed. This is what the hatch is looking like too. You know, need to rivet it in as well. But it looks good, it looks solid. So this is pretty much one segment of the CRX. You can see here, you got your front window, quarter panel, and hatch. I also made the template here. All right guys, check it out. So pretty much, I'm gonna be honest, I made a mistake. I ended up drilling into here, not realizing that there is curvature in the body. And when I went to go install the rivet, the rivet did press in, but it didn't fully compress into the metal. So this happened. If you can tell, if you can tell that rivet was compressed into the Lexan, but didn't fully compress into the metal. So it's all right. You know, we make mistakes, it is what it is. Um, I ended up doing this one up top. I figured I'd do it closest to the, you know, the edge of the Lexan. And it seems to be holding pretty well. I'm about to try this one up here as well. So this one is a permanent one It did stay in there. So I figured I'd go for like a little, you know, pattern we'll see we'll see how it goes so when you're gonna use a rivet gun get the rivet gun put the rivet in fully compressed down this is to get the lexan and the metal having direct contact and the rivet is inserted into the metal then you give it 
one good one you could do it again bam and it'll snap right in Yo, what up guys, tapping in with a quick update. So I currently finished the rear quarter panel windows and let me tell you, it's a lot more difficult than what it seems. I ran into some problems. I thought it was gonna be smooth, negative. That is not the case. As you can see, there's double rivets up top. The reason to that is there's two sheets of metal. So you got the first layer here and right behind it, there's a second layer. That second layer is a lot thicker and it's rounded. So when you drill in, you could penetrate through the first layer, but the second layer is a lot harder than what it seems. The, the drill jams up. Uh, I had a few bits break on me. Not only that, but when I would go to press in the rivets, they will pop out. So that's the reason why there's two up top. I'm gonna be straight up, that's the reason. But the solution to that was throwing three rivets on the top, three rivets on the bottom. And I ended up pressing them in, they held in position, and I worked my way to the right, but I didn't rivet anything in yet. What I did was drill, 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 and the same with the bottom, same with the left side, I ended up drilling first. And as I got through the whole window, and I, I put the holes where they needed to be, then I started laying the rivets down and I started working my way across one side, working my way across the other side. It's not the best, but let me tell you, I'm pretty happy with the results. I did it on my own. Uh, Adam was busy, so he was doing his own thing. And for me doing it on my own, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Uh, I could finally say that, you know, the windows are installed. I still need to do the hatch. I'll show you guys what's up with the hatch as well. Um, but let me give you guys like a little stress test. I'm not gonna go over the top like some people fucking trying to break a hole through my window <laughs> but yeah a little stress test so you can see I will so it's on there this one here Adam did like press on it a little too hard and it's a little loose as you can see but it's there the rest of the rivets are holding it into place and that's just one thing that I noticed when you're doing this. You will run into problems and that's okay. And I'm gonna be honest, running into problems is a good thing because now I know what to do for the opposite side and for the hatch. So I'm glad that I ended up running into these little issues with the top part of the CRX and with that one rivet because now I know the solution to doing it on the other side. All right, guys, you see this method right here? We drilled all the holes first, and then we started to rivet. We made sure we ended up putting one rivet in the center on the top and bottom to make sure things were even. So if you can see, he's doing approximately three pumps. He's applying pressure to the gun, making sure that the rivet legs in are touching bare metal right here so it could penetrate and it could get the perfect seal. Look, again, show him the pressure. There's the pumps, snap. Oh wow, this one's extra, boom. And if you can see, look at that. I can't even fit my fingers under there. That's tight right there. I think we're professionals now. See guys? That's why you make mistakes the first time, so you don't make them again the second time. Damn, son. We ain't trying to wait for no shipping dates. We'll go to Home Depot, grab the Lexan ourselves. We'll do all the work ourselves. That's how it's done. Self-made, we do this shit on our own. Looking solid. So 
I'm giving it about a three inch gap between each rivet or each hole for the rivet, just for a cleaner look. You could gap it to whatever distance you want. I chose to do three inches. I think the more rivets, the more aggressive the look. It's up to you. everybody that's gonna be a wrap for the video it's approximately 11 40 it's super late i'm super tired i'm dead right now i'm running on three hours of sleep i went out to the races last night and i had to be up and out of the house by six in the morning so let me tell you i'm running on fumes right now a lot of coffee and just you know the dedication the dedication i'm telling you sally needs my attention and i'm giving it to her right now so I finished the hatch, and let me tell you, the way the hatch looks, I do not mind making the mistakes on the quarter panel. The little extra rivets does not bother me one bit. Reason why? Because I had to make those mistakes in order to come back strong, and the hatch, I'm telling you, it looks aggressive. It's proper. <sighs> yeah. It's something that I've always wanted since a kid. You know, I used to see the big dogs out there. They were doing their thing. They'll take their track cars to the streets. And they were putting it down. And ever since I saw that, I just, I knew I had to have it. And let me tell you, it feels amazing knowing that this car is sitting in my garage and knowing that I'm doing all the work is a, is a very prideful moment for me. And it's awesome. It, it's cool that me and Adam get to do this and we get to, you know, experience it together. We both share the same dreams, you know, like me and Adam both have big visions for this shit. And we want to, you know, we want to put in work. We want to put it down. And that's what we're working towards. Let me tell you. I'm stoked here. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm talking too much and that's because I'm excited, you know, but check it out. This is the quarter panel. Does not look bad at all. It could be a lot better. I'm going to hit this with, you know, some black marker. You won't even be able to tell that it's there. So we'll be squared away with the quarter panel. Like I told you, I don't mind the mistakes, but damn, look at the hatch. Damn. Right. That's what I'm saying. This thing looks nice. Everything's even, everything's spaced out properly. None of the rivets backed out. This is just, it's good, look at this. It's on there. So yeah, I gotta finish this right here. As you can see, I have the Lexan cut out already, but I'm not sweating it. The reason why I'm not sweating it is because I gotta get up early as hell. I told you, I gotta leave the house by six in the morning, but damn, just I can't get over it. Like, you know, look at that. Driver, quarter panel, hatch, flawless. Oh my God, I can't get over it. And just like that. They like said there was never any rivets. I wanna just say thank you guys for, you know, tuning into the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you guys are learning. I'm learning, I'm growing. I hope you guys are doing the same. And I hope you guys stay consistent with your projects and you guys are banging it out. But yeah, if you can, please let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, drop some comments, you know, turn your post notifications on. Hey, tune in for the future. It's gonna get on and popping.